there's a huge reason as to why Takashi69 has not released any new music for the last year. It's been kept silent by the media, but it's something that everybody needs to hear, so let's get straight into it. Now, a viral video started floating around the internet just a few months ago. Now, in this video, 6 ix 9 he has no security with him, or anyone even with him for that matter. Now, allegedly, these are members of OTF running up on 6 ix 9 while he was parked in his car. A little backstory, Takashi 6 ix 9 and Lil Durk have been having ongoing beef ever since King Von's sad passing around a year ago. 6 ix 9 has even been seen posting photos to his Instagram of him wearing King Von's face on a t-shirt with captions on photos saying, and I quote, He really thought y'all loved him. He believed y'all. If he ain't slide for his brother who got hit in his head, then you thought different. With several laughing emojis, just typical 6 ix 9 things that he does on social media, but many people believe that Lil Durk has finally just had enough of it and sent his OTF members to go deal with the situation. So things didn't get too crazy as they were in the middle of the street of New York, which is always filled with law enforcement. Takashi 6 ix 9 has not been having his regular security that he's used to having, and I believe people from O Block, especially Lil Durk, have been noticing that. So here's the video that I've been talking about. Now after this video went around online, a very concerning photo of 6 9 was then released with it. So here in this photo you can see 6 9 getting a cast on his arm and there was a second photo with it that I'm sadly not allowed to share due to Takashi 6 9 having many bruises on his face as well as him crying. It's yet to be confirmed if these two situations have any sort of connection, but seeing as 6 9 has been getting caught lacking a lot in the streets lately, and has been keeping silent on all social medias not causing any internet beefs with any rappers, it's safe to assume that 6 9 has kind of been dealt with for this situation. Now rappers from Chicago would not be the only people that 6 9 would have to worry about either, as 6 9 snitched on one of the biggest street teams in New York in his last court case. 6 9 was looking at facing 47 years inside a federal prison for many crimes involving narcotics and firearms, but luckily he had the option to snitch in his case and that's exactly what he did. 6 9 stated that he only snitched because of what those men did to him behind the scenes with robbing tons of money from him, stealing his jewelry, and doing things with his baby mama. So after arriving home from snitching in his court case, Takashi69 hopped on Instagram Live to say and I quote, I'm sorry to all of my fans, and to my family, to my mother, my family does not deserve that and I'm sorry, but y'all not gonna break me down like I did something wrong. Listen, I snitched, I ratted, but who was I supposed to be loyal to? If you can't be loyal to me out here in the free world, and you're messing with my baby mama while I'm on tour, making us money, then I can't trust you. And then when I arrived home, I got messed with and you tried to K me. If you can't be loyal to me out here in the free world, what makes you think that you would have held it down for me and wouldn't mess with me while in prison? Poke me up in my neck and have me dealt with. Now that statement from Takashi 6 9 made many fans wonder why 6 9 snitched in the first place. But it also made a lot of people where 6 9 lived very angry for snitching for obvious reasons. Takashi 6 9 has had a major target on his back since snitching in his court case and now messing with all of the Chicago rappers being Lil Reese, Dirk, King Von, and many others. 6 9 has to be really careful with how he moves going forward, which is why he has stepped away from the music industry and doesn't seem to be coming back. So Takashi 6 9 hired a group of security called the Shadow Group. This is a secret service security group of ex-SWAT members, ex-military agents. This is no joke. 
If you need security, these are the guys that you hire. It has been said to hire the Shadow Group for an entire year will cost upwards to $1.5 million. But for 6 ix case, it costs a lot more due to how 6 9 rolls going to concerts, and especially because of the people that want to go after 6 9 Now just to put it into perspective, 6 9 went to LA for 10 days, a little under a year ago. So for those 10 days, it costed 6 9 $104,000 for security, as not only do they provide on-foot security, but they also offer vehicle security, which means that you get a 24-7 driver and an armored vehicle any time of the day that you need it, and anywhere you want to go, there will be four cars rolling with you at once. So you could pretty much go anywhere you want, and you'll feel safe. But this is where it starts to get interesting. 6 9 only had the Shadow Group on payroll for the first four to five months of the year of 2021. Meaning, for the last few months, 6 9 has had absolutely zero security. And if you probably have noticed, he's hanging out with a lot of YouTubers from Steve Will Do It to Bradley Martin. But with the lack of security that 6 9 has been having, a lot of people that he has dissed in the past or snitched on in his court case are now realizing it and they're actually having their chance at getting to 6 9 in the free world. This is why you have noticed 6 9 leaving the United States in many of these YouTubers vlogs posted here on the site. 6 9 does not want to take any chances being in the streets of New York or anything like that until he starts making music again and has good income rolling in so he can pay for the security. Don't get me wrong, 6 9 could obviously afford this price of security, being the $1.5 million that it costs for the Shadow Group, but it definitely adds up and it adds up fast. You need to remember that Takashi 6 9 is signed to a music label. Just as an example, since we don't know the exact amount, Let's say 6 9 was signed for $10 million. That $10 million that the record label gives Takashi 6 9 is practically a loan. It's just money to get by and buy his own studio time and things in that nature. 6 9 has to pay that $10 million back plus interest to the record label. And they're going to want that soon. So 6 9 is going to be forced to put out music soon. He's going to be forced to make money soon with his music. So he's not going to be able to spend millions of dollars on security since he's going to have to pay the loan back. Now anyways guys, this has been District Trending. This kind of seems like 6 9s cry for help. And if you do think that as well, leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe. Anyways, it's been District Trending and I'm out. Peace.